Squeeze It was a juice drink that debuted in 1987 and was taken off the shelf in 2001. Thank you for your suggestion. General Mills, maker of the Squeeze It juice drink, introduced their newest product at the 1988 gathering of the Consumer Analyst Group of New York. Squeeze It was marketed as a fruit flavored soft drink. The drink came in a plastic bottle that the drinker had to squeeze in order to extract the beverage from its container, hence the name Squeeze It. Each flavor had a different character intricately designed into the plastic bottle. It came in multiple flavors and additions, one of which contained color pellets that the drinker dropped into the bottle to change the color of the squeeze it. The flavors included Chucklin Cherry, Berry Be Wild, Grumpy Grape, later changed to Galloping Grape, Silly Billy Strawberry, Rockin' Red Puncher, Mean Green Puncher, Smarty Arty Orange, and Troppy Tropical Punch. General Mills first tested the product in Denver, and after testing well in that market, the drink was rolled out to the Pacific Northwest, and eventually, the entire country. squeeze -its didn't contain much fruit juice. In fact, there was just 10% juice in those smushy bottles until the 1993 launch of squeeze -It 100. The new line featured 100% juice in three flavors, Pilot Punch, Caped Grape, an acrobat apple. The popularity of this drink hit its stride in the 1990s, becoming a sort of a pop culture icon for kids growing up at this time. In fact, during this time, Squeezes began introducing mystery flavors in their six packs. The foreboding black bottles featured a new unknown flavor. My guess was it was probably kiwi strawberry. Squeezes didn't simply stick to its original flavors. I guess that would be boring, right? The company launched a Lifesaver Squeeze It line in 1995, featuring three flavors, Wild Watermelon, Blue Raspberry, and Tropical Fruit. For those of us who worried about this product being made overseas, never fear. Squeeze It's were manufactured in the United States. Not that my 90s kid self actually cared. The squeezable beverage was first produced in a specially built plant in Lodi, California. Competition at this time was stacking up against Squeeze It. Kool-Aid and Capri Sun, along with their smaller packaging, sped up the demise of the Squeeze It. It also didn't help that those awesome plastic bottles had a shorter shelf life when compared to Kool-Aid and Capri Sun. By 2001, General Mills decided to pull the plug on this sugary drink, even though the brand had made them $50 million during their last year of production. Squeeze-Its would return to their store shelves in 2006, and it was discontinued again in 2007. Maybe they wanted to tap into that nostalgia craze, or maybe it was just a test, but either way, it wasn't released again. For me, I just remember getting those things in snack bags and sometimes birthday parties. But to this day, I was more of a high C guy if you ask me. Nothing like drinking punch out of a 32 ounce can. No such thing as straws in those days. But that's for another video. If you would like to see a more in-depth look into this company, click on the box on your left and subscribe to my channel to see more exciting videos about defunct 
or not so defunct companies from yesteryear. Be sure to leave a comment about your favorite memories of this place, and if you want, leave a suggestion for a future video. Thanks for watching.